Hey player, developing the confidence to talk to your crush in high school can be tough, but figuring out how to flirt with them can be even tougher. That's why if you're in the 9th, 10th, 11th, or 12th grade, I want to teach you a few techniques to help you get started in flirting with your crush. When you're in high school, appearance matters, but it doesn't always come down to how you dress or who you hang out with. A bigger part of it is how you put your confidence on display. That's why one thing you should focus on improving is your body language. When you talk to your crush, do you stand in a way that invites them in for conversation, or are you more reserved and tense? Different actions carry different meanings, and while there isn't one universal meaning behind crossing your arms or putting your hands in your pockets, they generally come off like you're hiding yourself from the person you're talking to. So when you talk to your crush in class or in the hallway, try not to shift around too much. Instead, try to keep yourself firmly planted in the ground with your arms to your side to show them that you're grounded. Not grounded as in you're grounded, but grounded in their presence. You're showing them that you're willing to talk to them and listen, that you're not just gonna say something and then run away really quickly because you're nervous. The next thing you're going to wanna work on is how you're interacting with them. A good way to start building a connection with them is to create a little bit of tension that you both enjoy. Tension usually gets a bad rap. It can make things awkward and silent or make the person even question, do they like me, do they not like me? But if done correctly, it can help build just the right amount of tension between the two of you. One way to do that is to jokingly give them a nickname based on something you know about them. For example, if they're on the track team or they just like to run, you can call them Speedy. Or if they talk about something that's completely fair game, like having a love for Twilight, you can make fun of them for that and tease them a bit. The thing about teasing though is that you don't want them to feel like you're coming off super serious. You want them to know that you're half joking around. And the best part is, if they start teasing you back, then you know you're building the right kind of connection. When you're in that high school crush stage, a relationship built on being nervous around them and constantly complimenting them simply isn't as fun as teasing them and making them question, does he like me or does he not? People are always curious where compliments come into play, and I've covered this topic before with my friend Coco Chanel here on YouTube, but the simple and sweet answer is, whatever compliments you give, don't leave them to fend for themselves. And what I mean by that is, don't give compliments like, hey, you look really nice today, and then end your portion of the conversation there, waiting for them to respond and carry it forward. Because most likely you'll just get a thanks or an awe from them, and then you'll be back in the same place questioning, what do I say to carry this forward? Instead, try complimenting them on something specific and then following up with a question. For example, you could say something like, hey, you look really good in that jacket, where did you buy it? Saying it like that will deliver the compliment and allow the conversation to continue. They'll talk about where they bought the jacket and you can talk about where you buy clothes thus allowing you guys to continue connecting. When it comes to asking questions, that usually serves as the gateway to start flirting with someone. Remember, flirting doesn't always have to be romantic or sexual. It's just you showing a genuine interest and wanting to know about that person and the willingness to engage with them. Asking questions that get them to show a little bit more of their personality will help them feel tremendously more comfortable around you. I know what you're thinking, what kind of questions can I ask them though? I would stick to things that are relevant. For example, you can talk about school, you can ask them if they've seen any recent movies, ask them what their plans are for winter or summer or spring break, ask them what their long-term goals are, or just ask them what their hobbies are and what they do for fun. Also, be prepared to share your own perspective on the question you asked. If they end up giving you a one word answer or something like, I don't know, share your own story and your own experience with it and then follow up with more questions so you can try to see what you have to say to get them to engage with you. If and when you do get them to finally open up and respond to you, the goal of flirting here is to take it to the next step and that next step is always making plans to hang out with them one on one so you can get to know them a lot better. If you're talking to them about a movie that just came out and they say they haven't watched it, try to set up plans to go watch it with them that weekend. If you're talking to them about future goals or big plans after graduation, invite them to hang out so you guys can talk more deeply about those topics. As for when in the conversation you should ask them to hang out, I leave that to your own judgment. Just do it when you both feel comfortable enough to open up to each other. 
But remember, it should be part of the conversation. If you don't eventually ask them to hang out, they'll get bored, the conversation will end, and you'll be back to square one. It's incredibly important to be forward here, because if you're not forward moving, then you leave things up to chance. And when you leave things up to chance, there's a high chance you may get friend zoned because your actions and the things you're talking about become misconstrued as you just wanting to be friendly. Also, when you talk to them, it's good to be open, but try to leave a few things about yourself to be mysterious. If your crush starts asking a lot of questions, answer a few of them, but follow the other rule I gave you on teasing. Respond with something like, I can't answer that until I know you better, or hey, look, it's gonna cost you. Being able to push and pull during a conversation where you're complimenting them and then taking it back and joking around and having them do it back with you is a successful sign that you're both flirting. I know it can be scary or make you feel nervous sometimes to try these things out with your crush, but remember, if you're able to lock even just a few of these techniques in, you'll stand out so much more from everyone else competing with you for your crush's attention. The personal goal here that you should keep is to be true to yourself. Don't pretend or act in a certain way just so you can interact with your crush. What do you think though? Are you in high school and do you have trouble flirting with your crush? Leave your comment below and we'll talk about it. There's a lot of people out there that push this agenda to falsify your identity just so that you can interact with the person that you like. And I don't buy that at all. I believe in being your best self because at the beginning of the conversation, you wanna feel comfortable and natural. And at the end, you wanna know everything you've talked about is honestly who you are. I want you to be your best self, and that means working through your feelings of nervousness and anxiety to feel comfortable interacting with your crush and to have them feel comfortable opening up to you. That's what true confidence is, and that's what we're here to build. As always, guys, love and peace.